again. Cast die, commit kill. It's interesting that Max Flying Cat is flying uh, substitute for TEC here. Yes, Nate, unfortunately, we dragged to work. Chet doesn't want to abandon MCR for attorney, so it's best if we work together. Yeah, yeah, all good. So Nate was indeed dragged to work. I remember seeing that when I woke up, and uh, my alarm told me that it was way later than it should have been. Drag to work. It's 3 a.m. Looks like Turnip needs a retrack on some boys. So I'm just gonna roll around. All right, Zero's on it. Thank you very much, Zero. It's very good having dependable people rolling around. And he is a welder monkey, so he's got the time. Dropped in to see what's up on a spotty cell connection. Well, if you can't hear me, everything seems to be doing just fine. Uh, LVXs are even being used to really good effect. Cluster rounds are still the Antichrist. I recommend either the removal or their total revision to just a shotgun. Yeah. But other than that, doing all right. Uh, Cetus is taking some shield damage. Nothing major uh, so far. Boy, is that, is that him fortifying? Yeah, that's him fortifying. Looks like yeah. KST planned to sit and wait for TEC to come to them, but TEC have the field advantage now with two caps out. And there goes the long range fire out towards Gracchus. It's a good target, I think. Yep. The Prairie Mastodon. Very light. Very weak. Shielding. A single Ares hit on this would drop it entirely, even if it's fully shunted and modulated kinetic, I believe. And just about yeah, anyway. I think they intended to be their version of an Augustus cap ship. But it has uh, a little bit of spice to it. A little bit of spice, and I think that's probably for the best. There goes the Ares. Did it land? Gracchus. Overheated Ooh. shields. 70% remaining. Yeah, Might have not landed square. They clipped him. Oh, yeah. Not I can actually enough. see where they clipped him. Ooh. I think just he's uh, varying his speed a lot and... Uh, making it pretty difficult to land hit. Yeah, he yeah. knows what's up, and he's going to hide Shooting behind that man blocker shield. Shooting Gold is uh, now entering into range. He's putting fire into Turnip. And Cetus is responding. All right, so Shooting Man is fortifying. Darth Here is comes Darth. In. Is he going to get into range? Ghibli bits outside of the shield. And here it comes. Oh, yeah, there they are. There's the electos. Oh, there's the electos, yeah. Turnip jumping backwards, bouncing off the ropes, wanting to stay outside of the effective range of those monopoles. He's currently succeeding as Darth attempts to crawl forward with his blink drives. Just a little bit. Turnip hitting the afterburner. This is a nightmare scenario for KST. Our shields are starting to collapse, even though he is fortifying. They're taking a lot. Turnip going for very close in pass, trying to confuse the targeting of Darth. Turnip shields falling. Darth's shields are down. His back is towards Cetus, and he oh, jumps away. away. Yep, trying to preserve his rear assembly. Shooting Man Gold continuing to focus on Turnip, who now has no shields and is starting to uh, feel the love. And there's some PPCs for Darth landing directly on top of those Ooh. MMCs. Max coming in with some LBX fire into True Turnip. Yeah. Oh, there's the SRMs. Oh, there's the SRM strike. Turn. Darth has taken Ooh. most of it. And Ooh, they're coming back awful. around. That is too much. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. Beautiful. damage on Darth. 60% integrity. That couldn't oh, have been yeah. done better as Turnip takes a massive strike to the face. Looking just the same as Darth, but Darth is one man in a four-man team. Turnip's one of two. This is a bad trade, unless they can definitely take out Darth right now. Yeah, yeah, Jedi has been uh, disabled, at least temporarily. 
he's taking. If he keeps taking here. fire, then that's oh. gonna be it. Oh, <laughs> those effects off of those LBXs. The high explosive rounds work pretty good. Darth Turn Rear being peppered. 30. Shooting Man Gold is pursuing Turnip. See, does Max, uh, fire from Max holding formation with each other? <laughs> Just uh, kind of watching the show, I suppose. Shooting Man Gold is getting up close and personal with Turnip, who is not looking at him. Oh, <laughs> Max turns left and just... Darth has gone red. the trigger. Darth has gone red. Darth has gone red. Cockpit kill on Darth. He is gone. More than a cockpit kill. His entire grid is split into four, maybe five. And Turnip right. has gone red at the same time. Red, that was Shooting Man taking him down right before Shooting Man shields are about to go down from Cetus. All right. Now there's some blood. This first blood goes to KST all, immediately. All three zones. KST now under 400 tickets with only Cetus left on the field. It's a bad position for them to be in. I'm not sure if Cetus can really survive this. I don't think he can take the whole team staring at him. A few ships can. And uh, yeah, it appears the cluster rounds in the Mark Threes are very popular. Oof, I was talking about the LBX getting them removed, but look, we got Tartars is out on Turnip. And they're retargeting where they're going. Looks like they might take the long way around to go hit Cetus. And yeah, there's one hit. Yeah, there's one. Where are yeah. these other two going? I, I think they've gotten lost. Or, wait, no, they're turning. They got a wide they're turning circle. Back around. And there's another hit. And connection. Just before the shields came back up on Cetus. Ooh, he's trying to run. He kicked in an afterburner. But uh, there goes his shields again. Ooh, reactor is exploding. He's lost one AWG. One afterburner is gone. The other Minute AWG 30. is getting damaged. He just jumps out of the cloud of his own debris. Uh, continuing to take heavy fire. Yeah. There's very little he can do now. Yeah, one side of Cetus is pretty much eroded away. His Part AWGs are inoperative. His afterburners are gone. Crack is flying his grid masterfully in this match. Bonk. Doing exactly what he needs to do for his team. It's gonna be really interesting seeing a tech versus hack fight, I believe. You know what? Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised. See this jumped. G Man Gold putting in the pressure. You got just about the, thirty the, seconds left on a ticket victory, but I think that's gonna be formality. Yep. Can they kill Cetus before they get all the tickets? Looks like that's going to be a yeah. They've drilled down to the... Yeah, there and it is. Line. There it is. Cetus has gone red. Game. Well played. GG. Well, uh, bracket, says Tysel. And I agree. That was, that was a lot of fun to watch.